following program is intended for mature audiences. Bro, I don't have a button. I don't have a button that explains the level of fucking adrenaline <clears throat> that I feel right now, dude. Hold on, let me fucking... What happened? Did I pause it? Yeah, okay. Welcome to the most honest channel on YouTube, dude. What are you selling? Number fucking 10 is out right now. SoundCloud YouTube playlist. The rest of it, platforms and all social medias are in the description. Check out my buddy's YouTube channel, Douglas B on YouTube. He does the podcast with me. He's a good guy, dude. Metalhead to the core, bro. If you're interested in checking out some other shit that you might not know if you're into, you know, test it out. Ugh, death. That's what that was. Bro. Dude. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, Snacks, man. Nobody told me that Disaster was a fucking savage. Nobody told me that he was a fucking savage, bro. Dude. Alright, look. If you're mad that I'm talking right now, then skip ahead a couple of minutes because I need to get this out of my system. I watched, I started to watch, uh, the fuck is, yo, that dude, what's his name? Come on, man, help me out. Don, right? I started watching Hollow vs. Math. Shit was real personal. About halfway through it, I gave up because they kept on talking about disaster and i'm going bro what the fuck is the big deal about this other battle they keep talking about so i go and watch it <laughs> dude after tonight he said he said i don't know if there's a ghetto in heaven but after tonight there'll definitely be a 7-eleven from the man that got that shit out, dude, and I knew it was over. Tensions were way too fucking high at the end where disaster goes, and I should punch you in your fucking face right now. And man's like, do it, do it. He's like, bro, don't tell me to do it. And he fucking swings and they cut the camera. Bro, I got chills, dude. So earlier today, because I'm a jerk off, I went and I was telling my buddy about it who hates battle rap because he thinks people act like jerk off was talking about guns they don't shoot and all that nonsense he's a metalhead he don't understand it's all right nice ball give him a pass fucking t i pulled the fight out because i didn't watch it i don't i don't like watching shit like that <laughs> however uh, dude bro he fucking oh my Dude, I, I don't even, I told you, I don't have, there's not a button on this fucking soundboard that is going to, the, he, he gave him, he gave him a fucking, he gave him a Pixar dream, bro, when he hit that motherfucker in the face, dude, I have never seen anything like that in my fucking life. Never. And I've been punched pretty fucking hard. I have never seen the level of hate for somebody for the two people have. And then to keep going after him and fight through the crowd to get to him and just fucking plowing him in the mouth, bro. It was insanity. It was insanity. Now that I got all that out of the way and my heartbeat is a little racy right now. I'm not condoning violence. When I want to be naughty. You know, I'm not doing that. I don't, I'm not, I like it better when everybody is cool, but holy shit did that guy get fucked up. God damn, he got fucked up. Ugh. Congratulations, Pat. You turned us into holy believers. You retreat. <laughs> Spitting in the earth. All right, I'm going to start this off with a question. Because I'll be honest with you, dude. Before I saw that fight, I thought this guy was all talk. I had no idea 
I had no idea the savage that I was dealing with, bro. And these guys that stand over here and act like they're going to separate something. Man, y'all ran for the fucking doors, bro. Stop fucking playing like you're tough guys, dude. When the shit jumped off, you guys fucking booked it. So you can wear all the fucking ski mask and baseball cap crossbone shit that you want. You fucking bounced. And I'm not saying I wouldn't have, but I'm not trying to play a tough guy. You get me? To my fucking UK people, bro. <laughs> I am not a tough guy, dude. But I'm not trying to be one of you. Alright, I'm gonna start this off with a question. Mm -hmm. You guys know what rhymes with I should have been the king in the first place? Spitting in Earth's face. <laughs> Congratulations, Pat. You turned us into holy believers. You retrieved the item and came back from war with bullet holes in your t-shirt. If life was like football, this faggot would catch a bullet for me like an open receiver. But you didn't have to. You didn't have to go and do research. I gave you a dead body. You owe this to teamwork. So no matter how you look at it, you're not my opponent. I'm more like your leader. So I told Pat, stay. Now go fetch it for me like a fucking golden retriever. I mean, I gave you a dead body. Before the battle started, it was already done. Anybody could have beat that day. Mr. Conspiracy could have walked onto the stage and farted on him and won. Wait, 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 wait. But when you first... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, Jesus, stop it. I have a button for this. Oh, this video is a goddamn mess. It is a goddamn mess. I can't get hyper and then come on here and try to put some shit together, dude. You guys probably want to kill me right now. Wait a minute. The I mean, I gave you a dead body. Before the battle started, it was already done. Anybody could have beat Kane that day. Mr. Conspiracy could have walked onto the stage and farted on him and won. But when you first meet Pat, he actually seems cool till you catch him at the club drunk as fuck telling Jamaican dudes how much he loves African people. Ha! Huh. Yo, he's a racist. You can't escape it. Your actions are see-through. You're destined. Being an Anglo-Saxon is in your family gene pool. You shoot Royce in your ass through the same package of needles Hollahan used on his back when he tatted the eagle. Ain't no way on earth. Ain't no way on Ain't no way on earth this matchup is equal. My thought process will completely collapse your cerebral disaster. It's evil like having the Catholic cathedral attached to the back of a preschool. Yeah. Yo, I'm the man for the throne. Yo, I'm the man for the throne. And champ gotta go. His name's Pat because he stays in the back of his home because he's afraid if he leaves, he'll get attacked by Sharon. Attacked by Sharon. Attacked by Sharon. Who's that? Him? Man, if I said you were scared of the dude, it would be an understatement. My bad, I almost pushed you. He probably would have punched my face in. The same way he tells people at the club how he'll get drunk and crush their framing until Sharon walks up and he tucks his chain in. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, who is this guy that he's talking about right now? That's disrespectful, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome back, Welcome back to the Welcome fucking back. drama hour, dude. Why are you even... What the... Why are you even wearing that shit? Oh, you're not even wearing that shit. Mm -hmm. Since you've had it, no one has even seen you with it on. No one has seen you at all. Zero appearances for King of the Dot. Man, you didn't even have the decency in you to give us an at least three-minute blog. Fuck it. He doesn't talk to his fans on Twitter because he thinks, well, on Twitter he's too G to be on. But a real man is a real man no matter what social media he's on. See, these people are drawn to you because they think That's that you're right. strong, but they don't know you're an insecure little bitch who sees their comments, keeps reading along because he's such an inverted child. He won't even respond. See, we thought you were a golden <laughs> retriever. We're wrong. You're just a little seeing eye dog and we were blind to the fact you were leading us on. Hold on. Hold on, that's not the end. That's not the fucking end of the punchline. That's appropriate music right there. That's what that is. That's appropriate right there. Uh. Now I have to go back. Fuck. Go back. Fuck it, bro. Since you had the chain, no one has seen you at all. No one has seen you at all. You didn't have the decency in you to give us a three-minute blog. Fuck. Oh, man. Fuck around and... Come on, bro. I said, man, I Come hate on, that they bro. did that. Come on, hey, no, bro. No, no, it's cool. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Right? 
You'll get it. You'll didn't even have it. the decency in you to give us a three minute block. Fuck around. Come See on. these people on Twitter. Come and you need to act like you're too G to be on them. You won't even respond. See, we thought you were golden retriever. We're wrong. We were just a seeing eye dog. We blind to the fact that he's mm -hmm. leaving us on. But this there is the go. part. There I called go. him golden retriever because when I said retriever, it, it was immediately gone. So I speak to him like he's my dog. It's only right I'm the king. And I put it in his ear like Caesar Malone. Yeah. <laughs> That didn't hit as hard as it should have if he would have got it out when he was supposed to. That shit would have killed. Listen here, you cocksucker. I called you out in 2010, and back then you were a lot younger. You were like a brand new phone. No contact on you, so I called you up. You didn't show up like a black number. Now you're in the eye of the storm. Witness that raw thunder I'm using the side of your grave as motivation to make up for lost hunger. I do a drive by on your godmother. Hop out of a crop duster with 11 Arabic dudes armed with box cutters. Fuck around and make me have to pass the Tommy gun to Mars, brother, and you better hope that it does not stutter. Pop, pop, sucker. The homie on the block trying to be the number one block stunner. He try to floss and he'll get laser beam for those flashy glasses if the faggot acts like Scott Summers. You and your bitch could die. Ain't no make the news like Tom Tucker. Yeah, bars, bars. Let me teach you how to actually do a scheme, huh? Shit. I'll show up to Alexander Key's factory brewery, packing an automatic tool with me. Raz, Pew, and Clash with Mussolini, clapping the Uzi at everything that randomly moves till I turn the avenue into a Los Santos shooting spree. Fuck around. <sighs> I'm Franklin with a Kalashnikov at your family eulogy. Open fire like Campo Delgado on the Halifax community. You could be a bear, cat, lion, rhino. Pat, that would be cool with me, because when I rap, I act as if I'm pulling an act of animal cruelty. Watch Lassie get neutered and then hand me my jewelry. Yeah! I'm a twisted Arab. Being a psychopath isn't new to me, I move like an android. I'm an animal fused between a catalyst while passing it through the genes. I'm not even an actual human being. I'm a walking Hannibal movie scene. My thoughts, oh my my thoughts form like inception. Walls around me collapse while I'm strapped to a huge machine. Rapidly maneuver through rooms while they're changing gravity, telepathically moving things, making the ground crack beneath me like Leonardo DiCaprio trapped in a lucid dream. I'm, I'm an infected to you, it seems. I've been known to knock white heads out like acne removal cream. He's bad. Hold on. If it wasn't for this battle with you and me, no one would give a fuck about you like Cassidy's new CD. The people who should have watched my battles online either. They could pass away from actually viewing me. Sit alone in your living room, lights go out, then I flash your computer screen. You see static, then die a week later like what happens when you view the ring. That's how you do the scheme. Yeah. Fuck around. Yeah, give me that gangster vibe. You ain't from the dirt side of the dirt moose, you're from the safer side. Where the neighbors are always waving high, and when you walk away, they even say goodbye. <laughs> Since you outscale me in weight and size, I'm someone you're not afraid to try, but that's fake shit. Why? When you were nice with math like an Asian guy. Yeah, uh... I battled Arsenal, violated his face like 180 times, but when you battled him, you kept complaining and walking away like this is a waste of time. Funny how he's from great, but he stomped you and he made you whine like a little bitch. You know to run away from fights, you never throw the scrap down. Go Going through the security at the airport's the only time you ever see Pat down. Yeah. And it's the end. So just go off and deny it. Threaten us all you retire and do another blog of you crying. Yeah, you have the body size of Goliath, but what good is having body size if you don't have the heart of a lion? Even though he's smaller, even though he's smaller than, even though I'm smaller than him, uh, yeah, even though I'm taller than Come him, you'll always be smaller than I am. This is like WrestleMania 1 watching Hulk Hogan beat the fuck out of Andre the Giant. Yeah. Yeah, fuck, I fucked that little school. Round one, it's on the champion, Paste. Let's go. Oh Yo, everyone. Oh my god. I can't even, dude. To put the fucking shades on for that shit. The fuck out of here. Are we still rolling? <laughs> the crowd, move back. Yo, everybody, move back. Move back. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Woo! I fell right into his trap, y'all. He got me. I admit it. As you can tell, I agreed to do long ass rounds, and I don't know why I did it. Mm. So I hope y'all did your stretches today, because it might be a wise decision. Mm. We'll probably have full grown beards by the time we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no thing to me. I just feel bad for the crowd. Could be home watching a damn movie, relaxing right now. By the time he gets in through about half of his rounds, you'll be at the part in Titanic where DiCaprio drowns. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. 
I know, that's not exactly how he died. Just figured I'd save us some time and state that. Because if I didn't, he would have rebuttaled it. Like, actually, he froze, pussy. And his name is Jack. God damn right it is. Wait. Whoa. Hey. But this is just a spar or a scrimmage. Except you ain't gonna see me freezing in the water for no pussy, dude. That ain't gonna happen. Sorry, ladies. From start to finish, I'm gonna make it hard to live with like a heart condition for this narcissistic mark. This isn't a I'm smart decision. Right, I dude. kick it hard as mixed martial artists twist his arm till it's hard to fix it like a car. When the part is missing, we can start the engine with the spark ignition. Here. Here's a parking ticket. Mark a target. I've marked my target. I'm a marksman. Sharp precision. An artist with the lead. Charles Dickens. Pick him from the farthest distance. It's hard. Wait, wait. Charles, pick him from the farthest distance. It's hard to miss him. Who's starting shit? You ain't starting shit. You ain't sparking shit. You wouldn't spark my interest. Get your bitch involved. I even target women when I bust this capital letter like how you start a sentence. Hey, he said, capital letter, start a sentence, suck a dick. <laughs> See, I'm on a whole nother level. A stone do a pebble, sell my soul to the devil, I'm a rebel. This Nova Scotia no comatose him. If I throw a blow in December, he'll be gone till November. November. Hey, see that tough guy shit won't work on me, dog. They don't buy it, man. Like hair that's all over here, you lying, man. Please test me. You get these fists of fury till my hands tired. Light you up under the chin like a story by the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hey, hey, remember when we was in Sweden and you slapped, buddy? Yeah. Y'all gotta hear this story. Shit was mad funny. <laughs> oh, dog, look. Scared. Yeah, yeah, you got your scuffle through. Can you sound like any more of a fucking nerd, bro? Uh, I was there, dude. I remember I saw two men fighting. You fucking nerd. A little slap. <laughs> Made a big old dramatic scene that said, Pat, get my back. I stood beside him and had his back. Should I still do? But I ain't lying, that shit you pulled outside was real smooth. The little dude told him, well, let's take this around the corner on the right. He pulled this one. Fuck you! Fuck this! Uh, translation, I don't want to fight. Hey! Hey! Yo. Hey, that's hey, a good sir. line, but that's not hey. a good line. Hey, hold up! The yeah, cops showed that. up from all the commotion he caused because he was too scared to fight, dude. At the source, I hate to bring you up in this, bro, because I like you. Dude, come on, bro. Come on, dude. What do you think? I'm fucking retarded? Hold. Look, man. You want a reaction? You're getting a fucking reaction. So remember, when you click this video, so you're getting yourself into, bro. Don't be mad at me. You did this. <laughs> man, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna press. That's what it is. Uh-oh, retard alert. You must think I'm some kind of fool. You think I think this motherfucker's afraid to fight after what I saw, bro. But, but they start talking. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Wait. But they start, they start talking to cops like, he pushed this girl. He did this. He did that. Where I'm from, that makes you a couple fucking squealing rats. Hey, <laughs> 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 shit. We don't talk to police. Especially when you start the fight. I'm a different mm -hmm. breed, dog. You just a bitch who got more bark than bite. And if, and if I am a golden retriever, it's only because people believe your lies. So I am a CNI dog because I'm here to lead the blind. Ah. Ah. But it's the same thing I said. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, are you done? No. No. <laughs> no. So slap me, I'd smack your little fucking mouth off. Uh. Bitch, I'll punch you so damn hard, motherfucker, I'll drop. I busted, yo, yo. I busted a dude's skull with a fucking hundred pound rock. The noises he made from the brain damage was sickening. Then the sound stopped. I like my emotions get the best of me. Sometimes me I think too. I'm emotionless. I just stood over my homies, open caskets, cracking jokes and shit, laughing, poking them. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's how I cope with it. Me too. What was weird is I cried to the tears smeared my rhymes form when I wrote this shit. But whatever you do, never confuse emotional with weak. Right. I slit your throat with tears rolling down my cheek. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. 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 Never confuse emotional with weak. I slit your throat with tears rolling down my cheek. 
trying to make a joke out of me, you better leave, leave both eyes open when you sleep and something Come close on, enough bro. to reach. Come on, the last bro. six months of my life, I'm in fuck, bro. You think I'm worried about rap? Mm -hmm. The next tear that rolls down my face might turn into a permanent tat. <laughs> wait, wait. You're a fucking fake, spoiled, rich, suburban brat. When you spray for breeze, you probably turn it like this and squirt it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh fucking no, dude. Oh shit. Burn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you know what's something weird about you I never understood? Mm. Why do you lie and try to deny that you've got it good as if you're ashamed and it's cooler to be from the hood? You got it mm. fucked up, dog. Oh, I get it. You're just trying to fit in with the homies, right? In your backyard with your gangster friends betting on pony fights. <laughs> your old friend said it. You went from a backpacker to juggalo to raver to angry gangster. Mm. Such a liar. Probably gonna picture a Project Pad as your fucking screensaver. <laughs> Wait, must be nice when Three, you have no bills and drinks your neighbor, but that's some shit I'm gonna save for later. Time. <laughs> Bro, I don't know nothing about being rich, but I'll tell you this shit right now. I wouldn't do it. Well, yeah, I would. I would deny it because I wouldn't want anybody to know how much I had. If you're smart, if you got money, you dress like you're dirty. Because then nobody's looking to rob you. I learned that shit from a rich dude. He used to go into fucking car dealerships in ripped up, stained up clothes. Just to see who would treat him like a good person. You know, like a potential customer, even if he didn't look like he was going to buy anything. And feel out a couple of different dealerships, bro. And the guys that he would go back to one couple of times, whoever treated him good and treated him like shit, he would wait for the guys to be there that treated him like shit so that they can see him come back in a fucking fresh tuxedo, dude, and then come in and drop a few mil in the guy's bank account that treated him like a good person just out of principle to be like, dude, you never know who is walking through that fucking door, dude. So, I don't know what that does for any of you, but... It's a fucking door, yo! Round two, it's our disaster. Yeah. Let's go, Black. Who you got for round one? I don't know, man. Disaster. I kind of had disaster for that, but I think Pat might come back and steal round two. So you know what? Since we're here together, let me write this down. Round one. Diz. Round two. Now look. Just so you can see. Full disclosure, guys. Look. See? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm writing down podcast notes. So if you caught anything on the page, dude, that's how I, I formulate the podcast. It's a hot mess. Go. You're right. Episode 10. I do have now. Project Pat as my screensaver. Nothing wrong with that. That's still way better than having a Sharon-looking teenager. Ha! <laughs> This motherfucker's always trying to put his hand on his leg. Sharon's a dope MC. He should get a battle with you without having to beg. Next time you want to extend a hand out to him, why don't your faggot ass just give him a battle instead? What happened with you and Jeff? I'll tell you. He had an agreement with him. Yeah, this cat is a fraud. You had an agreement with him not to spit that. But you switched back on your promise with him and you went back on it all. You had a big pack with him not to have no bitch asses involved. And you said, please, come on, Jeff, no personal bars. We don't want to bring up the past and the things that we saw. And he agreed because he didn't want to take advantage of it all. And you only did that during this biggest match where you could catch him off guard because you were man enough to address the topic when the big cameras were off. The shit was so bad. Even Mike Vick called him Calico like, yo, I can't believe he did that to his dog. You learned a lot from Jeff. Hey, yo, you learned a lot from Jeff. You learned a lot from Jeff. 
You learned a lot from Jeff. He helped your bitch ass evolve. Bro, and you take evolved a... into a Scientologist. Whoa. That's dirty. Bro, take a drink, dude. Nobody's mad at you. Absorbed all the knowledge you were fathered with and used it to spit back at God. Turned your back on him. Left him in the middle of a massive brawl six months past. Couldn't even give him back a call because all the juicing in the gym, his nuts started to shrink back. They're so small, he's walking around Scotia with a bag of Tic Tac for some balls. Yeah, yeah. Jeff should have smacked the piss out of you like he did to step easy when they were in the bathroom stall. I seen it happen all. Sniff that cause it's raw. Raw like the impact of a fist against a big cat's grill when his chin cracks as a result of being the biggest dude where he lives at so he's never been in the real scrap at all. I bet if I tipped your head over, your big ass would fall. Just a big fat Neanderthal, you ain't about action. You haven't been training your jabbing cause you're too busy chasing the dragon like Goku when he didn't have the balls. I'm serious, I'm serious. Ugh, I'm not an anime guy, dude, but that's heavy. I know about Dragon Ball Z, though. I came up on that shit. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm serious. Listen up, Patrick. Wah. These kids come out the side of their neck. They're getting their shit snapped like Benoit. Yeah. Ooh. Serious shit, Pat. Serious shit, Pat. You won't rip abs. I can give you a 24-hour fitness membership to a gym class tomorrow, but I'd rather get rid of your skin fat when I go across your six-pack with a retractable claw so the next time you have a Big Mac, your big bitch ass gonna have to sip that through a straw. Joy. Yeah. Dumb fuck trying to rebuttal the golden retriever shit. I, like I called you go. I, it was cool. I called you a gold. <laughs> See, like, dude, come on, bro. It's supposed to be fun, man. Be so mad all the time. But when I called you Golden Retriever, you should have taken it as a compliment. Because all Golden Retriever dogs were blessed with the logic Loyalty. and the common sense not to betray the friend that they're bonded with. You're not a, you're not a Golden Retriever. You're more like a dishonest pit, a half-breed of mutt that was probably mixed in the only doggy tricks it was taught was this backstabbing a person in the back it was brought up with. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Eat a doggy dick. Eat a Eat fucking a dog. doggy dick. Fuck a body bag. I'll put you in a doggy bag and mop your shit. Talk about I'm the rat when his best friend shit gets real. That's how the pig will squeal. Jeff told him, are you sure you're not going to mention anything in his battle, Pat? He told him, trust me, lips are sealed. <laughs> That's why this ratchet fry, he's a rapper from Scotia. Of course, he'll bring up stuff that's classified. Where the fuck is Scotia at? Yeah! I never heard of it. But Who's had your back more than Jeff out of all of these battle guys? Exactly. You can't reply. And that is why Pat should die, because you killed your only dog like the screenwriters from Family Guy. Yeah! Sound like Frankenstein. And if you think about maybe. it, Jeff is a lot like Family Guy's dog, Brian. Because he's always barking and crying every time a black guy walks by him. <laughs> 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 I promise you I wouldn't bring up shit in this battle and I wouldn't cross the line But there's a little thing that I wanted to talk about. It's fine. Stop denying. I put this on my mom's life I'm not lying you were at a show in Scotia Sock while you on the stage on the spot rhyming went outside started wilding fuck around and got punched And you took off flying left your little homie behind so we could get stomped by them I uh. swear to God all this stuff is true his little fucking homie got fucked up and sent to the hospital. If he would have died that night, you would have been responsible. You pulled a fucking card and made your younger homie squab for you. He thought Pat would stay, but instead you walked away and turned your back on him the same way you did to Arsenal. Yeah! So stop yeah. telling me you suck a free when you don't even believe it yourself. You're big, but you got the self-esteem of an elf. Time after time. Time after time, you leave your people behind while they're screaming for help. Mm. So when I seen you leave Arsenal alone in the ring, spitting schemes by himself, all I could think of was, damn, history has a strange way of repeating itself. I can never leave. So if you don't, you're dead broke. I know you don't have a job. You're back living at home with your mom. Tell them, Mr. Sucker Free, you don't pay no rent now. I can't believe I get to say this to somebody. This all makes sense now. I was talking about some bullshit. That's why he's getting embarrassed. Sharing a therapist with Arabic. Hey, shut up, bitch. You live with your parents. <laughs> like, you gonna clap whom? He brushes his teeth every morning and he comes out of his bathroom and his mom's standing right there at the door like, okay, honey, here's your vacuum. <laughs> Trust me, you've never been sucker free. I know for a fact your homies told me you were a paper boy till you were 23. A paper boy. 
like a boss that's not even part of your nature. How are you a boss when you don't got any paper? And if you do, it's because you're driving by slow on your little retarded bike and you're about to toss it to your neighbors. <laughs> a fucking paper boy, Pat, that's worse than office labor. Uh. Of course you don't got no job. You're back at home in your mama's trailer bottled up all this anger. You were in the closet races with black bodies hanging from his closet hanger. TV paused on Kramer so he could leave, come back, and then watch it later. Fuck around. Jesus. You claim you're not a racist, but both you squares got burned like a waffle maker. Do us all a favor. Stop looking like a fucking neo-Nazi army ranger. <laughs> because of you, your homie's life is in constant danger. You're not a Saint Patrick. You're more like a fallen angel. You can't call God your savior. You're Judas at the prophet's traitor. Yeah, the prophet's traitor. He exposed how you've never been in a fight at all, you faker. You've never seen contact like broads who get optic lasers. I'll run a number. I'll run a number on your hood like a sponsored racer. I'll show up to your block, take the white out like a chalk eraser. Yeah, I'm like... I'm like a Boston Strangler with the heart of a Toronto hockey player in the ring. I'm like Muhammad Ali crossed with Fraser. Sock you and knock out your jaw retainer so hard I'll drop you in your boxing trainer and have him in the background looking like a fucking Harlem shaker. What? <laughs> what? What? And, and I still, and I still didn't use doppelganger, Martian crater, coffee maker, condom flavor, arbitrator, modulator. Someone tell Bender I'm sorry, player. <laughs> yes, but. Round two, it's our best day. Woof. Dude. I'm not a fighting guy. But I'll tell you this. I would tell you this. When it has come down to it, dude. Look. I have never. I have never. Left any of my people to the fucking wolves, bro. That's not how I do shit. I've been jumped before. When I thought people who had my back wound up fucking walking around with people that were my enemies, dude. I'm... Please. I'm not a tough guy, bro. One thing I don't do is I don't fucking... You don't do that. You don't leave your fucking people behind, man. Let's go! Y'all ready? I was dope. Give it up. But wait. You got it fucked up. I'm not like you. I don't live with my mom, faggot. And I wasn't a paper boy. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. But wait, let me guess. You got a bunch of photocopy copies of my paychecks that were sent through PayPal and you're going to start handing out all the statements? <laughs> that was awesome. That was Awesome. I heard you sent a lot of dick pics to hoes online. I used to. Hey, I got your dog, so do I. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We all do that shit. Are you crazy? Hey. Hey. <laughs> difference is, though, when they click his, they roll their eyes. Mm. Then open mine and have to use that little scroll on the side. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, look, straight up, don't leave your bitch with me for the night. I'm serving up a log dog, I be feeding her right. All girths. This girl wanted to see what it's like. She said it was out of this world, you know, a little meteor, right? Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, <laughs> fuck up to his shit. You need to relax. You're too stiff. Let loose a bit. Yeah. Drop your neck. Roll your shoulders. Start doing this. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking like a goddamn lunatic. Yeah. Remember how I beat Hollahan and schooled the kid? Smooth and slick made it look like the dude was pissed? Well, I'm going to use the same formula I used on him and show you how my style's his defusal kit. Check it. See, you wild, but I got more style than you. I'm so nice, my rap name should be How Are You. So fun. Yo. Hey, yo, hold up. That's all right. Come on, man. That's kind of corny, you know? I get it. For this scheme, it makes sense. Yo, yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. You got a disco. Hey. So funky when I spit every sec I sniff, like, check my kicks like I stepped in shit. Uh. If this a ball game, I'm LeBron James Bow from long range all day. Yeah, the white Snoop Dogg's back. 
invade your territory and moonwalk back, bitch. <laughs> you kick is a nice touch. Hey, hey, it's so effortless. No pressure, it's nothing. I don't sweat the shit. Clothes fresh, Rolex, gold necklace, sex machine, battery so separate. You got the fucking swag of a yo, Come yo, on, dude. Hey, battery so separate. You got the fucking swag of an old catcher's mitt. And rap like you think we on the flow wrestling. Mm. Cold stepping since 07, been wrecking it. Watch, I'm so dexterous, I flip flows just like this. Yo, check this shit. Murder for hire, late night burglarizer. I creep the streets and old ladies grip the purses tighter. Mark McGuire with the back, split your wig in half, swinging so fast I make fitted caps turn to visors. I black out. Oh. Yo, I black out. All I hear is screams in a church's choir, walking through a circle of burning fire like a circus tiger. That's yeah. nasty. Tired to a furnace, submerged in gas, blast the thermostat to the wires, and the circuits fried, slide a burning match, then turn it higher. Mark. Oh, tuck the chain. You're tuck playing checkers chain. on a chessboard. Plinko would connect for your hype, but it takes away from what you write. It's a double-edged sword. I'm versatility, and it's 100% pure form. I flip styles, missile, get down. See, look at I just did now. This round, I'ma just smack this bitch round like Chris Brown. Like, sit down. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. That's one of my lines. Get him, get him. I said Chris Brown sit down a million times. Hold up. I'm versatility and it's 100% pure form. I flip styles. Now he said you only said it once and he said I said it like five times. Man, ugh, that kid bothers me, dude. You come off phony. That's why I don't like you. You want me to be honest with you? We're all jerk off sometimes. You come off like a phony fuck, bro. Looking right at you when I tell you that. You come off phony. Missile, get down, see, look at I just did now, this round, I'ma just smack this bitch round, like, Chris Brown, like, sit down, like, who's the golden retriever in this shit now, like, now hold up, now, 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 now watch this how I spin round, back to that shit about Chris Brown, to make history on a stage, biggest history on his face with the fist pounds, I'm a brick, house, house, <laughs> With your bitch with my dick. Out. Out. She went like this. Wow. I went like this. She went like this. Ouch. Yep. Hey, you get your bang on with the chain on, huh? I second guess it. He just talks out his ass like Ace Ventura Pet Detective. <laughs> no, fuck it. That was a good one. That was awesome. Yeah, it was. That was awesome. <laughs> You say you fuck Scarlet Pain? No, I didn't. I couldn't be less impressive. I'll respect it when you fuck Rachel Starr or Alexis Texas. Yeah. Hey, look who that people. guy, though. No. Hey, yeah, he was giving her that sexual healing, you know, expressing his feelings, yeah. Kissing all in the hoe's mouth and she just sucked Lexington Steel's dad. Oh, shit. Hey, hold up, though. That don't sound hey, good. Bet she didn't feel shit. <laughs> hey, why you date Lebanese girls like you, Bashir? It'd be too competitive over who'd have the coolest beard. <laughs> Your mom has so much pubic hair, it's her goddamn computer chair. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Are you fucking nuts? Are you fucking nuts? Where's it at, bro? Come on. Burn. Come on. Classic. Get the fuck out of here. The men are, and the men are all control freaks. Look, and the men are all control freaks. Go shopping for something new to wear and won't even let their wives leave the house unless they're rocking fucking scuba gear. <laughs> I went to hang in his place. His pop said, come in. Told his wife, go make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. She said, what? Do I or do I not make a mistake? He said, did I make a mistake? Kick the bitch right in the face. <laughs> Here's a real question. Why do all your conversations sound like you're yelling at each other? How is <laughs> telling her you love her? You 12 different colognes at one smelling motherfucker. How the <laughs> hell can you tell which one smells better than the other? <laughs> Now wait, I might have just fucked up my Lebanese connects back home, but I don't care. 
From now on, if I want to order a donair, I'll just use my neighbor's phone and have it go there. <laughs> <laughs> and to end this off, just to fuck up his flip so he can't rebuttal my shit. Just my moonwalk right now if you've ever sucked a guy's dick. Time. <laughs> 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 Bro, you can't touch this. <laughs> you can't touch this. No, you can't. Oh, fucking shit, dude. Wow. Get ready to warp down. These nuts. The fuck out of here, dude. You know I already had that shit written down, bro. Come on. Stop it. It's right there. It's right there. Round three, final round, Toronto. Make some fucking noise for this shit, y'all. Let's go. Hey, who said that? What did he say? Let's go. Hey, who said that? Who said it? Figures. What, what are you just saying? Yeah, talking shit. You know how talking I talking shit. <laughs> I thought you were sucker free. Why are you asking who fucking dissed me? Stop trying to be like me. You want to fucking diss Arabic people, you fucking worthless bitch? You could suck a fucking Persian dick. Hold on. You want to dick? You want to make up fucking Arabic jokes, you little worthless bitch? You could suck a fucking Persian dick. Right. You're such a fucking racist. You ain't even wearing the chain because it's not not long enough to hang a black person with. Oh. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are because you belong in a sewer with the rest of the rats. In a room with a plaque on the wall and a gold medal attached that says I exposed Jeff for his tats. <laughs> this guy, I learned he's the real racist and I learned a lesson from that. Everything he said about Jeff and his past was only a reflection of past. See, he's just a white supremacist trash, methodist stash, yellow wolf has, incredible tracks, redneck with a mask who tucked in all his confederate flags so he could get acceptance from blacks. That's what... Oh. How fucking pathetic is that? Like, <laughs> he fucking dissed his boy from a, for a fucking bitch that he sexed in his past. <laughs> But that's probably from the same bitch Devin you smashed. <laughs> I bet if you got an STD checkup right now, your test wouldn't pass. Jeff might be the one with a genital rash, but you're the one on deck with the crab. So having sex with your ass would have been her deadliest catch. Oh, shit. That was nice. Bart. That was nice. And if I fuck on my bitch and you find out, and it's mentioned in your raps, you better not use your pen and teller. Because if you do, I'll put your head and legs in the cast and have them severed in half. Bars. Compare Com that to... Bro, cut the f fuck out of here get the fuck out of here fuck everyone in that room dude that was fucking ridiculous holy jesus how do you not Come on. oh jesus man to the shit that he says when he raps he attacks quicker than an african severable cat Whack! First of all, it's several, not several. How pathetic is Pat? And second of all, if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna need an animal better than that. <laughs> Everybody knows that Pat's cool. Until you see him and he goes to dap you, extends his hand, then he giggles like a hoe and slaps you. Some shit that only fags do. <laughs> he picks up his opponent mid-battle and throws his ass, licks his lips and he goes to grab you, sticks his fingers in your ears and flicks your nose and he shoulder taps you. He does that shit to damn near every opponent that he raps to. Unless he goes against a black dude. <laughs> And you already know that the fact's true. Shit, they even felt bad for that line they even won't react to. <laughs> but we could tell that you become positive just like a pastor at a holy chapel if you just scroll back to the verses that you wrote for Matthew. <laughs> he wants to be from America so bad. All this stuff's true. He thinks he's from the West Coast. What a merc. He's a dumb goof. He be, he be bumping songs from Pac and corrupt Snoop, mobbing down the block, busting his airsoft Glock from the sunroof with Hollahan riding shotgun, smoking black tar through some random light bulb that they unscrewed. Dumb and dumber ass. 
Dumb and dumber ass clowns fucking up the whole spot when they come through. They'll never save Gotham. Having them both on a job is like having two Robins in one group. You said you would have spit personal bars. I didn't trust you because that's the art of war. And I'm the one that taught it to Sun Tzu. So you can be Bruce Lee. So you can be Bruce Lee if you want to. Because if you Bruce Lee, then I'm it, man. The guy that taught him is Kung Fu. Be cautious. Be cautious. Be cautious, I walk as a god amongst you, you're my apostle I sock you till the words come off you like a crossword puzzle Pop your thought process bubble so hard you'll see stars like Hubble Which makes sense cause every time your squad's in trouble you take off like an Apollo shuttle Bars. But that's real life shit Pat, that shit That's real life shit Pat, those are bars you cannot rebuttal I bet if my animals ran through your house right now you would book it like Jumanji's jungle Oh my god, and it's the witching hour right now. Always running away from fights. You already know it's your thing. All remember from your arsenal battles, you trying to run and take cover. Standing there for a fucking hour saying, Pat Stay is a sucker. Pat Stay is a sucker. And I know y'all had two rounds and you weren't prepared for another, but what made the thing worse is watching two grown men in a ring that are scared of each other. See, you, see, most rappers who make excuses and duck out of battles are why they ain't traveling. But Pat's worse than that. You fucking duck out of a battle while it's actually happening. <laughs> it's not about a paper agreement, Pat. It's a manhood thing. You should never Respect. back down from someone who's challenging your manhood. If it happens in the scrap, you will swing. See, rappers, we're like boxers. It's the same exact fucking thing. As a champion, there's a level of command you have to have in the ring. You're not a true champ if you can walk away and turn your back while a challenger swings. And that's exactly why you don't deserve to be Canada's king. Yeah. <laughs> You had, a bunch of, you had a bunch of funny shit. I spit real shit. What fans do you actually bring? You don't even have a champion's legacy. Five judge battles in his whole career shouldn't even be standing here next to me. Technically, his rap shit is blank. Cannabis memory. Yeah, you have fans. Yeah, you have fans, Pat. But you don't know what it's like to have any enemies. You don't know what it's like to balance the backstabbers and jealousy. Mm. And I have to walk around in real life like it isn't actually affecting me. That's why I use the stage for these fans to connect with me. Show them who I am. And that's a man of integrity. You're nice outside of battles, but you always attack people so recklessly. Mm. But one day the nice guy gonna come out the shadows eventually. And until then, Fresco is more of a man than you'll ever be. <laughs> you don't even... You don't even have an identity. You're just a big, happy, angry, sad faggot. That doesn't even make sense to me. You're the only dude on the court with no balls. You're a basketball referee. You have the swagger of Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was having a pregnancy. <laughs> Him and Patrick both are by. They like taking paddle boats and ride. That's where they go and tan on the ocean side. That's where Patrick opens wide and lets some splashes load inside. And that's not being, and that's not being gay at all, y'all. That's called having scotch and pride. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I'm just <laughs> I fuck with y'all, have you though? <laughs> You're American. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. Leaving all your people behind. Just a little fucking weenie. Ripped to make his limbs tear from his feet. Beat him with a fucking big pair of cleats. He's just a big scary freak with a Ric Flair physique. But you've been scared of beef ever since you went there with Jeff and let his shit air in the street. You hustled with him for too long to let him sit there and get beat. So what I'm trying to say is you could have been there at least. Instead, what you do, upload footage of you eating a sandwich on your toilet as you sit there in your seat. Which doesn't surprise me anymore, Pat, because you've been known to shit where, where you eat. Stop giving me that mean face. Don't be the next MC that I cremate. Lay off the ecstasy. Slam on your fucking e-brake. Damn. I'm done. You haven't. Damn. You haven't even improved it. Damn. Yo. You haven't improved in anything since the Elements League. Just methamphetamines, I'm done messing with you fiends. A combination of multiple drug addicts living life through the eyes of one faggot like Requiem for a dream. Stop fucking distracting me. This shit is not what it seems. I'm fucking up now. I have to end it with something crazy. Fuck it. I don't know what to do. These people are talking during my shit. They're fucking it up. Fuck. Catch a dude. fucking uppercut. Your mother is a slut. <laughs> Fuck, I've never even done this before, but I'm gonna have to do it right now. I got Buddhist type wisdom. Uh -oh. You'll walk away from it all if it don't make no sense. That's Jewish guy syndrome. You try to run away, I lock you down with these 16s like a juvenile prison. His crew decide to ride, then his crew could die with them, get crucified with them. The only chances of you surviving the breathing through a tube like you were scuba diving and no one will be there to view you die like suicide victims. Hold on, it's the last shit. It's the last shit. 
Yo, ha, Shepard, you can fire, turning them into Rugi if I choose to fight with them. It's like getting Hadouk and Bite right, you and Ken, I'll boodoo Kai, kick him. And every move that I hit him, and every move that I hit him, will leave a pupil missing from his eye like students in school who try ditching. It's not a movie script. When I leave this dude with blind vision, I'll remove your eye quicker than Uma Thurman when she killed the dude who tried switching. I will kill Bill and leave the two of his eyes missing. Fuck! I hate this shit! Yeah. Shut up. Why were they talking? Oh. Oh. Hey, he That's, said I had a. That's how you're gonna get him to shut up? Yeah, hold on, man. Let me help you. Fuck you. Shut up. Next. That's not how that works, bro. That's not how that works, dude. You clearly have no respect, man. Does this bother anybody else, or am I off on this, man? Apparently, I'm not supposed to ask questions and actually look for answers, but, but. I can't call it. Eh. Ric Flair physique. True. That's why girls see me walk by, they say, Woo! And wait. See, he, he choked and pulled out his phone to see it. That was some pathetic shit. You just proved you can only beat me with the phone on some Joe Pesci shit. Oh. Bro, that was a casino line. If you didn't know, strong. Awesome. <laughs> Yo, when I see you spinning around and swinging around and doing around curling, I'm thinking, damn, this guy must beat the shit out of his girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, damn, boy, you like a Motorola phone because you're the first one to flip like you on M, Androids. Oh. <laughs> Never stops moving. It's like something's wrong with his nervous system. And he ruins every picture he's in because he's always blurry in them. I do that. <laughs> like, why so serious? We were supposed to battle in August, but he moved it to the end of January. That's how much of Aquarius. Oh. Hey. Hey. Am I the one with cerebral palsy? Because it seems like a lot of people in the crowd just had a bit of a delay. Let that shit sit. Clammy palms sweating profusely and you just can't stop. Every time you give the man props, you gotta wipe your hand off. I seen him before the battle coming at me looking all happy with his hand like this. I tried to avoid it and gave him the hammer fist and he gave me the trailer hitch. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey, I bet he's the most intense person ever to play video games with. Oh, it's gotta Eyebrows be crazy. bouncing everywhere, making the most ridiculous faces. <laughs> all into it, biting his lips, looking like a fucking serial rapist. <laughs> And his whole body turns with the controller when he steers when he's racing. Definite button master. And your controller he's getting carried away with. And he beats you every game because you keep peeking away from the screen, scared that he'll break it. So you don't know how serious he takes it. You hit the sack, now it's only him. Trying to sleep and all you hear is him on the headset like, cover me, I'm going in. <laughs> hey, wait, they said, Pat, you can't beat him with jokes. You're going to match this guy's intensity. I said, why? What, you mean how fast he rhymes and everything, all that rapid fire delivery, how he act all wild and yell and scream? It just sounds cool. He's got the crowd fooled. They're distracted by his energy. See, organic waste paper on him. Shouldn't be promoting his ass. It's not a fair trade, because lately everything decomposes his trash. Now, I'm not even going to run that back. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, want me to run it back? No. Yeah, Everything no. decomposes is trash. Now, I, I ain't even gonna run that back, but did you find those kind of relatable? I'll break it down quickly. His bio's degradable. Oh. <sighs> Bro, do you know what I've done for King of the Dot? You really think you're more valuable than me? You do? Do you understand the impact that me versus Hollahan had on this league? Going on about how much you... For real. It has less views than my arcane battle. Going on about how much you care about the changes begging for people's attention. I don't know about either of the battles those guys just mentioned. But when we needed you the most, you treated it like a joke and couldn't even defend it. 
But you know what? There is a little bit of truth behind some of the shit disaster's been saying. I have lost my love for this shit. Because now it's just oversaturated and fabricated. They ask you to make a blog before the battle to make the match entertain and then act like you hate them. Then after the battle, we're laughing and hanging. See, that's what I'm saying. It's whack. I hate it. Thank you. You know, from the microphones to the battles on stages, so now everyone can rap about guns now as long as the line's half creative. And this social media shit makes these battle rappers act like they're famous, man, I don't know. I guess I'm just having trouble trying to adapt to the changes. I use Instagram maybe once in my life, never really use Twitter much. You tell me how many views you have, I'll probably tell you I don't give a fuck. I don't even, look, look, I don't even, look, I don't even watch battles these days, I lost the interest. It used to make me feel like I had the globe in my palm, just spinning it on my index, but shit changes, doesn't it? Maybe I'm bugging. One day I love it, next day I'm saying fuck it till I step on stage, see the fans, that crazy rush hits, and a little voice in my head whispers, hey, you got this. No, see, I don't do this for the chain diz, I do it for these guys. I do it for my fans who knew I was losing my passion but stayed by my side. I do this shit for the dude who wrote me and said my song about alcoholism saved his life because just to know his role model survived the same struggle helped push him and gave him drive. I do this shit. Wait, I do this shit for the kid with cancer I used to talk to on the phone. Any day he could have died, but he said the he said the laughter and excitement he got from my battles and talking to me every day just made him feel alive, man. I'll never forget the That's day he awesome. called me and told me his doc said he's been getting better and his tumor had shrank in size. Then his mom's told me that she believes me being there for him helped him and she thanked me crying. Now that's what, what the fuck I do this for. That's real shit. That's real shit. That's what the fuck I do this for, dog. You just crave the attention. You're like a little college girl. Congrats on your 70,000 Twitter followers, Mr. Popular. Who gives a fuck? They don't. Who would you be if it wasn't for this? Ask yourself. And you wouldn't even be who you are if it wasn't for mommy and daddy's help. You see, anyone could have been you, Diz. Just had to follow the manuscript. Stress-free, rent-free, never had to pay a goddamn bill in his life because his family's rich. Shit. So while we were all busting our asses to pay the bills, you know, being a grown man and shit, he had all those years of free time to write rhymes and practice his battle skills in his family's crib. You see, anyone here could have been you, Diz, with the funds and proper management. So many opportunities the average man would just never have a chance to get. Like, for example, his battle with cannabis. Costed a fortune, how did he manage it? Organic couldn't come up with all of the funds, so Diz got his daddy to handle it. Bullshit! Oh, oh, fucking lie. See, any, any, no, any, any one of us could have been you, Diz. Any one of us couldn't be you, Diz, but none of us had these advantages. I mean, come on, you were practically handed it. You just took the pass and he ran with it. But I would never want to be you, Diz, because if this whole thing magically vanishes, at least I can say that I actually landed this shit on my own and go out as a champion who wasn't handed shit. <laughs> then you make a difference. Hey, wait. Look. Look, he mad right now. Hey, gonna wire some Western Union from his dad right now. Heads up, he's about to throw another beer in the crowd right now. And he was calling me a paper boy. I just gotta laugh right now, because they're writing his obituary right now in the back right now. That was awesome. <laughs> hey, to end this battle off, you're right. This title don't really matter to me, bro. If I lose tonight, I'll just get my freedom back and my album on the go. Battle who I want, when I want, travel in the globe, and you'll be practicing at home for your battle with Sharon. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Yo, that was funny. yo. I almost planned to let him win. You were just my sacrificial goat. I was gonna fuck up on purpose and just act as if I choked. 
but I just what? couldn't let my people down because the fans is all I know. Hey, yo, kid, it up! The champion is home! Hey, and since he was talking about it so much, I guess I got to address you, Sharon. I know you're still mad that I molested you, bro. It's so serious. I'm sorry. And the whole battle community hasn't left you alone ever since Arsenal showed that pic of me rubbing your leg on the coach. But you've been dissing me for three years. It's like you're obsessed with me, though. And I haven't paid him any attention, but that's what affects him the most. Bro, don't be delusional. I wasn't ducking you, I was just letting you grow. So once you finish potty training, you can step to the throne. I guess that's the guy. Omaha! One, two, three! Hey, yo, King of the Dot! Blackout board disaster past day. Title match Toronto. Make some motherfucking noise, y'all. <laughs> Abby, put that down. I want to make a special shout out to Trevor D. Custom Jewelry. He always holding it down for us, making the custom pendants. This time it's motherfucking gold. This shit is worth a lot. The winner of the battle, and still. <laughs> You know why that is, right? That's because disaster fucking slipped up in the middle, dude. I think. He would have won. If he didn't slip up, I honestly believe that. Although, that last round from Pat was kind of designed for him to have taken it. They should have independent judges. Who was judging it? Straight up could snap at any second. Uh See, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know how you guys score it, but I literally had... I had one disaster. Round two was Pat. And then round three, I'm calling a draw only because... Disaster couldn't get the proper things off that he needed to. And it seemed like Pat was more trying to make a point than kill him in the last round of the battle. That's how it came off to me. But this was a really good one. And it makes more sense now that I've seen other shit to be able to compare it to. But it's fucking three in the morning, man. And I'm in here losing my mind like a fucking asshole. The neighbors must hate my guts. And I've been done for the night. They probably want to kill me, dude. They're inside their fucking living rooms now. Like, fucking bullshit. How long does this guy go, bro? Yapping all fucking day. Who is he talking to? What is he doing in there? Bro, they must hear me because people are asking. The people are asking around, like, what what goes on in there, dude? What is he really doing? Like, he's always in that fucking room back there. What is happening? You know, look, bro. They're fucking cooking shit up. <laughs> you know? Fucking shit, man. I'm just trying to have fun, dude. That's all. I mean, what else can you really do? What else can you really do? I gotta watch this back. I'm sure I sound like a fucking retard. So, um, don't worry. If you're a hater, bro, don't think... I don't know. Oh, man, this has been crooked the whole time.
Whatever. I have to hold on. I have to fix this now. Maybe I'm crooked. I don't know. It's late as fuck. What do we got coming up? There's a lot of shit. I don't know when. I might have to put this out after everything else comes out. So real quick, we'll go down the list of shit that has probably already came out by now. Episode 10 is out. I know I got Pat vs. Danny Myers up. Oh, shit. Math and Shoddy. That's coming up. I already talked about Diz and Math is going to have to come out before this because it wouldn't make sense if it didn't. I got a lot of shit happening. I got a lot of shit happening, dude. So I got to figure out where am I going to put this. What's today? Well, today is Pro- Terminator Timeline. It's the 16th right now, dude. I'm a fucking animal in here, bro. So I got a lot of shit coming out I'm gonna have to push this to next week maybe I'll put this I should put this in the same day as math and shoddy I think that sounds like a good idea oh man other people on the channel are gonna be fucking pissed though cause I've been doing a lot of battle rap and shit but I mean I got a little bit of metal sprinkled in here and there some American rap, some rugby. You know, I'm trying. Trying. And hate me all you want, dude. Look, make it 10 dislikes on the Jaffro video. This face don't give a fuck. You understand me? I don't care. And I don't like Devlin either. So you can hate on the strength of that. Since some of you motherfuckers like to hate anyway. We're not all gonna like the same fucking shit. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Let's not let's not get mad. Let's not get mad. End this on a positive fucking note, huh? That's it, dude. Wrapping this shit up for the night. I'm gonna upload this, schedule it, and then I'll be back in here in the morning. I have no idea where I'm going next. But I see all you guys in the comment section. The haters can go fuck yourselves. Everybody that supports what I do, appreciate it. Check out the podcast, dude. Ten episodes are out. I talk about Florida in the last one that just came out, number ten. I don't know where eleven is going, what is happening, but we'll figure it out. Sorry it came out so late. Had to fucking get that shit together. Editor was a bit of a pain in the ass for me today, but I'll wrap this shit up. I'll catch y'all tomorrow.